We have received numerous emails and phone calls from you asking if we will be able to read your C2S files in the Floriani Total Control U software. And while we saw no real urgency in adding it to FTCU since you still have the former version of Floriani software with the ability to read them, we did decide with this much concern we would add that file extension to Floriani Total Control U. And I'm very excited today to show you just what we've been able to do with the C2S format. Now when you open up a design into the software, you go to File and Open. I'm just going to click this Open button. And I'm just going to open up a file here. You'll see that um, these are the free monthly designs we get. This was back from November uh, 2013. And I'm just going to select this design, um, which is number 5 and I'm going to select open and you'll see that this does definitely open up in the software I can put on 3D view so you can see this design now the one thing in, in bringing you the C2S files that we thought was very important uh, when we decided to add it to the software was we didn't want to just have the ability to open up we wanted you to have the ability to read this file as this, as if you were reading it in Total Control Professional. And what I mean by that is there's two different types of designs. There are outline files and then there are stitch files. And the outline files, um, what those have is the, the ability to keep everything connected. So let's say you're working with um, a design that you digitize in the software. Um, I'll just show you in this design right here. I'm going to focus on this little fill stitch right here. So let me zoom in really quick. Um, when it's an outline file, when you select an object, it's going to know that, for one, if you see down here in the sequence view in the bottom right, that we're working with a fill stitch. Not only that, but if I applied any settings to this fill stitch, like underlay, stitch length, density, with an outline file, it remembers all of that information. So you can see that I have a fill stitch here, and you can see that that clearly is a fill stitch. I'm going to go to my underlay and you will see that I do have a perpendicular underlay applied to this fill stitch. And so it reads that it does have underlay with it. Now I can come over here and I can change this to a full lattice and turn off perpendicular. And you'll see that as I apply that it will change it. So it's still attached and that's what an outline file is. And so um, this is very, uh, very powerful. Most programs will read one format, like we read the WAF format in Total Control U, which we can we call a WAF file, and that stands for Walter Floriani. And so we're very excited about this new extension, and we are the only program that can read WAF files. But not only do we read the WAF files, we also read the C2S files in the same manner. So you don't lose anything when you open up the C2S files inside the Floriani Total Control U software. And just to show you a little bit more, I'm going to just show you how you can edit this. So now I can select this fill stitch and I can come in and I can, let's say I want to add some texture to this fill stitch. So I'm going to choose random and hit apply. And you can see that that's going to give this um, part of the tree a little bit more texture. And so you can do that with any of these objects and so it it reads it as if it was digitized in the program now just to show you as an example of what happens um, if you're just trying to read a stitch file in the software I'm going to open up the same design that was saved as a PES file which is a PES file is not a native file format for the software so I'm going to open that up and you can see that we're working with the same design here and I'm going to focus on this area, the same area of the design. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this fill stitch. And uh, before I do that, I need to ungroup everything. Sorry. So I'm going to select this fill stitch. Right away, you'll notice that it doesn't cover the entire area. So if I pull this fill stitch out, you'll notice that it's broken up. It's not all connected. Not only that, but the underlay is no longer viewed as underlay attached to the fill stitch it's just stitches so that's the difference with with uh, reading a design as an outline as opposed to reading it as a stitch file and so we're very excited that with the c2s format we were able to our programmers were able to figure out how to read it as a native format for the software and that is a very that um, 
really helps you with your designs that you've created over the years or you've you've purchased from Floriani um, or received free with the software that you will not lose anything when working with those files you will be able to read them exactly the same way you were able to read them using your total control professional software so we're very excited about that and we hope that you appreciate the attention to that format that we gave and and uh, we're very excited to be showing this to you and bringing this uh, C2S um, format to you in the Total Control U software.